Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I'm bringing to you my February wrap-up. In the month of February, I read a total of 18 books and of these books, 8 were physical books, 8 audio books and the remaining 2 were ebooks. So let's get into today's video. The first book which I read in the month of February is Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. Now, Metamorphosis is a classic and in this book there is a man named Gregor Samsa and uh, the plot of the book is that he wakes up one morning and he finds himself transformed into an insect, a huge insect with a hard shell and uh, things like that. And uh, he just depicts how uh, hard uh, the life is when being in the body of an insect and how these uh, creatures just live. And it just uh, doesn't show uh, a single day's happenings uh, of a human being inside uh, the body of an insect, but uh, his life for a few days in the body of an insect. But uh, I should say that I didn't like this uh, book a lot because I uh, found that it was a bit meandering here and there and I didn't get a lot from this book. I'm, I'm going to give this another try later this year and I rated this a total of 3 stars. The first read of the month was Metamorphosis as I said before and it was not uh, a good start for me in the month of February. And the next book which I read is uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and this just broke all the uh, things which Metamorphosis made for me as a reader because this book, it involves a lot of research and a lot of work that has been put in by uh, Stieg Larsson. You can see that the book is huge, it's over 500 pages and uh, the font is also so small, the text is also so small. So uh, there is so much to take in from uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. It is an adult uh, mystery or thriller book and uh, here we have this uh, girl named Lisbeth Salander who is a hacker and uh, she investigates uh, cases in a very good way and we have this other guy called uh, Michael Bloomquist who is uh, another uh, protagonist in the story and there's another call, call, uh, guy called Hendrik Wanger I'm just seeing the uh, characters names at the back because I don't remember them as well um, the plot of the book is so good it is very engaging and uh, after like 100 to 150 pages of the book it is uh, very fast paced and there are a lot of things which keep on happening and there is this murder mystery element of the uh, book which will drive you to read until the end. I rated this book a total of 5 stars. The next physical book which I read in February was the most anticipated read for mine for this month uh, and it was uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by JK Rowling. I uh, am uh, having this uh, Harry Potter readathon going on in my channel which started last month that is February and it will be going on until August. Uh, by the time this video is out, uh, one of the two videos which I have promised to post for each and every book uh, will be out, so just check it out. And uh, this book deals with the story of an 11 year old boy named Harry Potter and he is taken into this uh, magical world called the wizarding world. In this world, uh, wizards exist, magic exists and there are these fantastic creatures we can see uh, very good friendships uh, blooming in the very first book. This is a middle grade book and uh, the world building in this series is so exquisitely done by the author. I gave this a total of 5 stars if you can't judge because uh, it's Harry Potter so I have to rate it 5 stars. The next book which I read in the month of February is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare and this is the first book in the Mortal Instrument series which is a 6 book long series and this is an urban fantasy young gadget series. Here in this world there are a group of people called the Shadow Hunters who help in uh, destroying these uh, evil creatures like demons, vampires and werewolves in the world and uh, there is this girl named Clary and uh, she doesn't know that she is a Shadow Hunter and she's just uh, whisked into this uh, Shadow Hunter, Hunter world and the first book uh, digs up a lot of the history that we need to know about the Shadow Hunter world in order to move along with the series. Uh, I like this so much and I understand why there are a lot of fans for this series because it feels so real and the writing of Cassandra Clare is also so good. I, I, I like her writing very much and I rated this book a total of 4 stars. Next book which I read in February is a Tamil book and it is Ponin Selvan Volume 1 by Kalki. Now this is the first book in this epic Tamil series and uh, there are there is some excellent character work that has been done by the author in this very first book. I know that I have promised to uh, review each and every book in English as well as Tamil uh, by the end of every month. I have not been able to do that in February but I will be doing that for sure for every book. I, I don't know when but I will be doing that for sure. And uh, 
Usually I find description a bit boring when it is overdone but in this book there is a lot of description and that is what makes the world of this book so real to feel and also uh, we also get a lot of uh, Tamil history in this book and uh, the scenes, the battle scenes and uh, the way he describes the scenery all those things are so uh, good to read about because I am a Tamil person and uh, those words which he uses to compare things with other things they are just so beautifully done I rated this a total of 4 stars I gave it 4 stars because uh, I was able to read it slowly and it is uh, completely my fault and not the books because I tend to read Tamil a bit slower compared to English so I gave this a total of 4 stars Next book which I read in the month of February is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott Now this is also a classic uh, I, ha I read this book because I didn't uh, read a classic in January and I compensated it by reading two classics this month and uh, this book is about four sisters in a household uh, during the time of World War II and their uh, father has gone to the war and uh, there are things which happen throughout the book there are sufferings in the family, there are happinesses, pleasures in the family and uh, they just uh, experience all these things together rather than uh, being separated First I thought that uh, this book was going to be a book based on family troubles uh, due to uh, misunderstandings in a family but this is about uh, the connections which form between the siblings and family and uh, the connection between the children and a mother in their family. Uh, if you want to read a book which will get you into reading more classics then I highly recommend Little Women because it was so easy to read as well as it felt more contemporary rather than classic. I rated this a total of 5 stars. The next book which I read in February is Ram Sign of Ikshvaku by Amish Tripathi and this is the first book in the Ram Chandra series by Amish Tripathi and in this uh, book we get the story of Ramayan from the point of view of Ram and uh, this book took me some time to get into and uh, after hitting like 100 to 150 pages of the book I just started loving it so much because uh, the scenes that he has written from Ramayan which I didn't know about and the characters which I didn't even know that existed in Ramayan are so so good and it, uh, in this book he also writes uh, some chapters about uh, how just ancient India was and how it is not that much right now and uh, there are certain things you have to read this book if you want to uh, learn some things about Ramayan which you didn't know. I rated this a total of 4 stars, I didn't give it 5 stars because it took me some time to get in. The last physical book which I read in February is The Prophet by Khalil Gibran and this book had taken more than 11 years for the author to write and it has a total of 24 chapters and each and every chapter in the book is about life or some uh, part of life which is very important for human beings and uh, each and every aspect of life that he has described uh, have been questioned by uh, some kind of person which we would have met in our life for sure and the answers that this prophet person gives for those questions is uh, so to the point and perfect if you ask me everyone needs to read this book if you ask me this must be a classic for sure I rated this a total of 5 stars moving on to the audiobooks my most favorite audiobook which I listened to last month is Symptoms of Being Human by Jeff Garvin now this book is about a gender fluid person and it is a book in the it is a book in the LGBTQ uh, category and uh, I've not uh, heard of uh, many books like this if you guys know some books like them please do uh, let me know in the comments below and this book deals with the life of a person uh, who is gender fluid that is uh, they are not male completely they are not female completely they are not transsexuals as well as they are not uh, gay people but they are people who uh, uh, can uh, feel a gender each and every day that is they might be a uh, male they might be a female uh, this might uh, sound complicated because it is so complicated and it has been described in a very uh, neat way by the author and he hasn't uh, included anything graphic in the book throughout uh, it is not so chill to read as well it is a heavy handed book it is young adult but it is heavy to read I rated this a total of 5 stars I want to read more books like this because it will make uh, the feel of empathy in me a bit more and if you do know some books like them please let me know in the comments below. The next audiobook which I listened to in February is Never Give Up uh, Jack Ma in his own words and this book is a collection of the quotes given by Jack Ma who is the founder of the Alibaba group. If you didn't know please uh, google about Alibaba group because it is a very big franchise in 
China, not America, China. And uh, uh, this book comprises of all those uh, important lines that have been said by Jack Ma in various interviews of his in China as well as America. And uh, there are even chunks of the uh, book which tell us about the foundation uh, that was laid by Jack Ma while he uh, established uh, Alibaba Group as a whole. I like this book so much and there are things uh, which we uh, which will help us to uh, make our lives better. There are very uh, minute things which have been uh, said by Jack Ma in these quotes and if you like uh, reading uh, inspirational quotes then this is a book which you need to read. I rated this book a total of 4 stars. The next audiobook which I listened to is The Yellow Wallpaper by uh, Charlotte Perkins Gilman who is this uh, female author. It is a very old book. It is a classic. This book is so short. It is just 15 pages long and uh, the genre of the book is not horror. It, it is classic but the story is very much horrifying. It is about a lady with some mental illness and how she is uh, treated in a wrong way. She is uh, treated for her mental illness by her husband but she is not treated in the right way and the climax for this book was so good it was so short that was my only problem with the book there, uh, there was a lot of scope to expand the book and i rated this a total of three stars if you're looking for a horrific read then go for the yellow wallpaper next audiobook which i listened to is also a non-fiction uh, book which will fit inside the self-help uh, category and it is uh, how to speak to anybody anytime anywhere by chris widener this is a very short book it is just like uh, 20 to 30 pages long uh, I listened to it on audio and uh, Chris Widener give, gives these uh, three simple steps which will help uh, anyone to speak to anybody, anywhere, anytime and uh, these are the simplest three rules which you can follow if you have the fear of speaking. If you want a review for this book, please uh, do let me know by some means. Uh, this book and uh, another book which is the next book which I am going to speak in the video uh, are books which I think everyone will find useful. If you want a uh, specific review for them, then please do let me know. I rated this book a total of 5 stars. The next audiobook which I said before is Who Will Cry When You Die by Robin Sharma. In this book, uh, Robin Sharma speaks about 100 ways uh, in which you can make your life more productive and more uh, meaningful. And he also says that uh, there are not uh, things we just need to do in order to make our lives better. There are also things we uh, need not do in order to make it uh, even better and uh, if you want to read a book uh, in such a way that you have to read one chapter per day then you can read uh, Who Will Cry When You Die. The title of the book might sound negative but I must say this uh, book just overflows with uh, positivity and after reading this book you will uh, find it very much useful and you can apply at least one aspect which he has spoken about in your life in order to make it better. I rated this book a total of 5 stars. The next book is also a non-fiction self-help book which is uh, The Law of Attraction Plain and Simple by Sonia Ricotti. Now this in this book Sonia Ricotti uh, speaks about 11 ways of uh, in, uh, which you can uh, incorporate in a step-by-step -step manner in order to uh, make yourself uh, more attractive in a positive way. Uh, attractive not in the uh, way of an appearance but attractive in the way of your character and the things you do. All these 11 steps are uh, so easy and one of the main things which she emphasizes throughout the book is that you must try to keep a record of what you are doing uh, throughout in order to make things better. Uh, she emphasizes on maintaining a, maintaining a journal very much and it might help you a lot. I rated this book a total of 3 stars. Uh, this is because I <coughs> read the other two books earlier and they felt even better for me. The next audiobook is also a self-help book. It is Manipulation by Adam Brown. In this book, uh, Adam Brown speaks uh, about how manipulation can help uh, you in a very good way. Generally, manipulation is considered to be a thing uh, which cunning people do. But uh, you need to know how to manipulate people and um, how you can make them do things for you in order to make yourself as well as uh, their lives better. Because manipulation is a very important aspect in any person's life who uh, wants to uh, any person in any person's life who thinks that uh, they have to improve their status in uh, life in a proper way and uh, he has explained manipulation in a very good way and there's also this disclaimer in the beginning of the book itself uh, which he says that uh, this is a book which uh, 
must help you make your life constructive and not to uh, make other lives destructive i rated this book a total of 4 stars it was a very good book uh, which solely focused on manipulation alone last audio book i'm going to speak about is the first audio book which i listened to this month and it is tunnel of bones by victoria schwab now this is a middle grade fantasy series urban fantasy series and in this uh, we have this uh, girl called cassidy blake and this is the second book in the cassidy blake series by victoria schwab and uh, she's a person who can see ghosts and i have a dedicated review for tunnel of bones uh in my channel i'll try to link it down in the description to check it out if you are interested in it and i rated this book a total of 5 stars because it felt uh, better than the first book in the series which was city of ghosts um there are multiple elements in the book which uh will make us uh nostalgic to uh, which will uh, give that feel of nostalgia to us while we read them so if you're looking for a middle grade book that is a uh, fun to read as well as which will uh, kindle some nostalgia in you please read tunnel of bones and before that read city of ghosts by victoria schwab the two ebooks which i read this month were also comics and i'll just uh, read out read out their names ratings and their authors from the phone which i have right now and uh, the first uh, ebook which i read was lady stuffs secrets to being a woman by lauren brands this is a cute uh, comic strip book which will uh, show you uh, things how uh, girls deal uh, deal with their lives these are th- uh, some things which are uh, portrayed in a very uh, comical way which will make you laugh for sure and uh, the next book is lunar baboon the daily life of parenthood this shows how uh, the life of parents of a child who is so mischievous can be and how uh, things which a child does in a normal way can bring forth uh, huge problems to the life of their parents but it is done in a very tasteful and comical way i rated this book also a total of 5 stars will make you laugh for sure and uh, the next book is lunar baboon the daily life of parenthood this shows how uh, the life of parents of a child who is so mischievous can be and how uh, things which a child does in a normal way can bring forth uh, huge problems to the life of their parents but it is done in a very tasteful and comical way i rated this book also a total of 5 stars Okay, so those were all the 18 books which I read in February, and I did read one book more than it, uh, than the amount of books which I read in January, and I feel happy about that. Do let me know how many books you read in uh, February in the comments below, and also if you have any recommendations for me, also uh, let them in the comments. If you want any de- dedicated reviews for the books which I mentioned in this video, uh, you can let me know through my Instagram or uh, in the comments. Also share this video if you liked it and also give it a big fat thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Until the next video, it's me signing off. Thanks for watching.